Hello, Kenny Jacobs from Bloomington, Illinois. Just want to do a quick video uh, about a subject that's really not fun to talk about and certainly not one that anybody really enjoys thinking about. Unfortunately, while we're living in the last days, it's just a fact of life and what the church is going to be facing. And uh, this is straight out of the Christian Post, and it says, it's an article about North Korea, and it says, Kim Jong-un reportedly orders execution of 33 people for talking with Christian missionary to start 500 churches. The article goes on to say, an unidentified source told, said that the 33 converts will be executed in a secret cell at the, at the State Security Department on charges that they were trying to overthrow North Korea's regime by establishing the underground churches. So 33 Christians are going to be executed in North Korea for their faith. I'm going to post a link to this article in the description box of this video so you can check it out. But the Bible makes it clear. Jesus said in the last days that we'll face persecution. And depending on how long it is before he returns, that persecution will probably be here in the United States. And it's just kind of a scary thing because, you know, it's going to take a lot of strength and a lot of power from the Holy Spirit to keep us strong enough to face the coming persecution. So I'm going to go back to the Bible here for a minute and read real quickly from Matthew chapter 26. Then saith Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter answered and said unto them, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto you, that this night before the cock crow thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. And just a few hours later, Jesus was arrested. And exactly like Jesus said, they all abandoned him out of fear. They ran away. And then Peter denied Jesus just like he was told he would do. And these are the men that were with Jesus on a daily basis, walking with him, who knew that he was the Son of God, that he was the promised Messiah. People that witnessed Jesus' miracles every day, Yet, when it got right down to it, they feared for their lives. And they ran and they deserted them. Now, thankfully, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit was sent to infill the believers. And the Holy Spirit gave them power and strength and wisdom and discernment. It gave them so much power that the church grew and grew and grew in the middle of persecution. And the only way those Christians were able to, to handle that and to suffer that persecution was because of the power given to them and the peace and the comfort given to them by the Holy Spirit. Now, what's worrisome to me is we have a church full of lukewarm Christians who don't want to admit they're a Christian now because they may be ridiculed. If you're afraid to admit you're a Christian because you may be ridiculed at work or among your family or friends, do you really think you'll not deny Christ when it comes down to living or dying? But we have a promise from Jesus and it's in these last days, and it says in Luke chapter uh, 12, verse, excuse me, Luke chapter 21, verse 12, it says, But before all these things they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and shall turn to you for a, for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what you shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom 
which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And you shall be betrayed by both parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends, and some of you they shall cause to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish, and your patience possess ye your souls. So even though it says you may die physically, you will not be lost. You will not lose your soul. That's, our, that's the promise from Jesus. But he says, some of you will be persecuted and maybe even put to death for my name. And we've lived a pretty comfortable life here as Christians in the United States. There are people all around this world facing tremendous persecution every single day for their faith. I don't know that we'll be able to totally escape it here. If you've seen some of my videos, I've shown you the FEMA guillotines and talked about FEMA camps. And martial law finally is instituted. Some of us may really truly face persecution and even death for our Christian faith. <clears throat> and again, we see things like the by, by Christians being labeled a hate group now. Preaching Jesus is the only way is thought of as intolerant. Dangerous days lie, lie ahead. And it's time we all commit to our faith like we never had before. Trust in Jesus. <clears throat> live for Jesus. Stay in the Word. And pray for the strength to endure whatever may happen on this earth for the, for the, gospel, for the sake of the gospel. All the signs are here. All the prophecies that would take place before Jesus' return are taking place now. <clears throat> it's clear. Time is short. Make sure you're ready. And pray for the power of the Holy Spirit.